Hello, welcome to everyone. This video, this is our lecture number three. In the last two lecture, we discussed the problem asked in this book, that is the thermodynamic uh, thermal physics uh, by A. B. Gupta and H. P. Roy. Okay, uh, this was the chapter kinetic theory of gas. If you want to watch these lectures, you can go through the description box. Link are given there, and various physics related video also are in this channel. If you want, you can go through the description box there are separate playlist for each right so let's start today's discussion in this video we want to discuss the question asked in this uh, book that is the thermal physics by garvansal ghosh and this is the first part of this book uh, uh, in this lecture series in this lecture we want to discuss question number one to question number 10 of chapter one that is the uh, thermal physics by this book okay so let's start with question number one which says explain the following of the basis of the kinetic theory of gas so you need to explain this uh, three question on the basis of the kinetic theory of gas first one thermal expansion sorry second one evaporation and the subsequent sorry cooling of the residual liquid and third one in the lower temperature in upper atmosphere through solar radiation incident regularly raise in the kinetic temperature about 1000 kelvin okay so thermal expansion you can see when the temperature increase the kinetic energy of the gas molecule increases when the temperature suppose this is a body within the gas when the temperature increase the kinetic energy of gas will be increased and this uh, becomes this the, uh, the, the they are wants to expand to each other that's mean this kinetic energy is enhanced so it wants to go outward so that's why this uh, body will be expand or the gaseous medium is much expand uh, compared to liquid and solid also can be explained by this phenomena number two is evaporation you can see when this uh, temperature increase that means kinetic energy of the of the molecule will be increased when these are liquid in form when their kinetic energy increases when their kinetic energy increases so it wants to expand when their atomic uh, uh, distance will be increases at a certain distance then this liquid uh, liquid becomes so uh, gaseous this is the evaporation that's why this evaporation actually happen right so this is the uh, evaporation was also explained by this phenomena and the cooling in the reverse process when the gas is cooled very much time these are closer to each other they are closer to each other then the gas transform into the liquid in the reverse process this is in the heating evaporation and this cooling will be also the um, liquid uh, the gas will be transformed into liquid clear and the next one is the when this uh, lower temperature the uh, upper atmospheric so so there is the upper atmospheric pressure means there is a large number of gaseous uh, atom gaseous molecules when this incident solar irradiation they absorb the energy they absorb the energy that means their kinetic energy will be increases this energy uh, higher kinetic energy becomes the higher temperature of the system that's why the high temperature of the system will be arises so this will be explained by the kinetic theory of gas next question which says the estimate the time that a nitrogen molecule moving at the rms velocity will take travel across the your lecture theater of length 10 meter so your lecture theater means they are uh, they are saying about the room temperature so you can find out the rms velocity of the nitrogen molecule at the room temperature by using this formula 3rt by m 3r in si unit t and this is uh, 28 gram in cgs so in si unit 28 in 10 to the minus 3 kilogram so this will becomes in si unit so that is 516.9 meter per second and the corresponding time time is nothing but length per velocity length per velocity putting you will be get the time so the nitrogen gas molecule will be take this much time to travel 10 meter in this lecture theater man that's mean in room temperature right next question a parallel beam of nitrogen move molecules moving with velocity 400 meter per second so this is the velocity in prints on a wall at an angle 30 degree to the normal uh, normal to this normal this angle will be 30 degree if n equals to n is the number density calculate the pressure exerted by the beam on the wall assuming the molecules suffer elastic collision 
so this uh, incident as angle theta is reflect to be same because this is an elastic collision so this is v so this is also v so you can see here in the component this is v cos theta this is v sin theta similarly this is v cos theta this is v sin theta so there is no change in v sin theta part only the v cos theta part will be changed and this will be changed to v cos theta right so the momentum change will be mv to v uh, v cos theta momentum change will be like that and uh, uh, this is the 2v cos theta and you know the for each collision there will be a uh, two molecules required that's why there is a half arises so finally you will be get this formula like that the finally the formula will be like that 2 mn v square cos square theta you can write directly this formula also after that just put this value here this value is m is m m m is the molecular weight that is the 28 uh, gram of uh, nitrogen nitrogen 28 gram so this gram becomes into kilogram 10 to the minus 3 10 to the power minus 3 and this is the avogadro number so this will be uh, mass of each molecule small m is the mass of each molecule so that's why 28 10 to the minus 3 by this is the small m value of small m is like this is and small n is given is here and 2v uh, 2v sorry i think this two uh, actually this two here okay so this is v cos theta this is v cos theta v is 400 and cos 30 degree cos 30 degree root 3 by 2 so finally you will be get this one and this is nothing but what atmospheric pressure because you can see here one atmospheric pressure is one atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeter of hg so 76 13.6983 per centimeter square so if you wants to convert into newton per meter square this is the newton per meter square so this is the one atmospheric pressure and this will be matches so this is the one atmospheric pressure clear so i think clear about this question solution of this question next one a gas composed of 10 to the power 6 carbon atom has a maxwellian velocity distribution at this so this is the temperature and this is the number of carbon atom determine the number of atom having velocity between 100 to 101 meter per second so the velocity distribution is 100 to 101 so v is 100 and dv is nothing but dv is nothing but dv is the 1 meter per second 1 meter per second is the value of dv so you can see uh, you can put 4 pi n is 10 to the power 6 m is the mass of this molecule mass of this uh, mass of this molecule that is carbon 12 and 2 pi uh, taking a cgs unit that's why this is gram no change and kb is 8.31 uh, sorry uh, kb could transform into r in the cgs unit and this is 300 okay similarly change into because when this take as to help capital m so you need to change this is into r right kb change into r and small m change into uh, capital m small m change into capital n and this is kb change into r okay so put this value on this one so e to the power uh, just putting this value v equal to like that and this v also this so just change into uh, cgs unit or you can write down this into 10 to the minus 3 uh, you can take also as a unit no problem as you like okay so finally you will be get this answer next one in the same process just value this uh, value this for uh, 300 and 301 that's mean this v is 300 and this change will be change will be the change will be the 1 meter per second that is uh, 100 centimeter per second so just taking the calculation you will be get this 610 and the third one 1500 in the same thing so you can get this answer okay just uh, follow up this calculation you can get this answer here the uh, you can notice that that when the velocity is 100 to this is uh, 82 when this velocity is 1500 this is 85 in the middle when the velocity is 300 this is 610 that's mean uh, in the in the lower 
velocity number of molecules is lower in the upper velocity number of molecules lower in the middle velocity number of molecule is enhanced so this nature will be like that you know that is the maxwellian distribution so the nature of this curve will be like that okay go to the next one next question says so that the root mean square value of cartesian vx molecule uh, velocity is p by rho which de defines velocity of the sound you who, which defines which uh, which which defines velocity of sound equal to this which defines velocity of sound so this is the velocity of sound in terms of uh, newtonian uh, consideration but in laplace this is gamma p by rho in newtonian consideration this is the velocity of sound and this will be the value in uh, if you take one dimension of this condition and this question already discussed in the previous lecture in the book that is the ab gupta also say uh, asked it the same type question calcutta university so i just not, uh, do not repeat this discussion this is all, uh, already discussed in previous lecture go to the next one calculate the temperature at which room uh, root mean square velocity of hydrogen molecule will exit their most probable velocity uh, sorry exit their most probable velocity by this so root mean square exit by most probable velocity is this so their separation will be like that and just put this value take the cgs unit you can get easily the answer okay so root 3 root 2 rt uh, so this taking squares is 400 meter per second take in centimeter per uh, second will we get this answer since this is a unit put r in the cgs unit that is uh, 10 to the best 7 otherwise you can take this m into uh, that's just m into um, value that is 3 10 to the minus 3 2 into 10 to the minus 3 you can get the same answer when we take this is in SI unit, this is in SI unit, so you, you must take M into SI unit, that is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. Clear? Go to the next one. Express Maxwell velocity distribution function in terms of U equals to VY VP. In terms of U equals to VY VP. <coughs> Sorry. So, Maxwell distri velocity distribution is this. This is the Maxwell velocity distribution. Now, if you uh, put this uh, ratio u equals to v by v p, where v p is the most probable velocity, which is root under two k t by m. So this, um, uh, so this is you can see here. Uh, u u equals to v by v p. So V equals to V P U. So D V equals to V P D U. Right. So substitute this in this expression. D V equals to uh, V P D U and V equals to V P U square. Same things here. So you just substitute this one and you can carefully seeing here that is V P is nothing but root under two k t by m. So this is two k t by m. This is root under two k t by m u square so you can see this m by 2 pi kt is 3 to uh, 3 to, uh, to the power 3 by 2 and this is also 2 kt by m 3 by 2 so this is three, uh, m by 2 kt as can is only pi to the power 3 by 2 that is pi root pi 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 cancel out root pi only the remaining yeah so this matches right next one this is the form of this reduced form of the maxwell distribution and which is independent of temperature this is the most importance of this this is the independent in dependent this is independent on temperature this is independent on temperature okay this is independent on temperature go to the next one calculate the ratio of the velocity of sound in a gas to the rms velocity of its molecules if the molecules are monoatomic diatomic so the velocity of sound in gas is this and the velocity of molecule rms velocity is 3p by rho so if you take just ratio that gives you root under gamma by 3 in case of monoatomic you know the degree of freedom 3n minus m that is 3 and gamma cp by cb is 2 by f so that is 5 by 3 if you put this value gamma that gives you root 5 by 3 that is 0 0.745 
for diatomic the n is 2 m equals to 1 so degree of freedom equals to 5 so gamma is 1 plus 2 by 5 that is 7 by 5 so this ratio will be like that clear go to the next one at what temperature will the average speed average speed of hydrogen molecule is the same as the nitrogen molecule of 308 Kelvin so the average speed of hydrogen molecule at the same of this average speed of the nitrogen molecule at that temperature so if you equating these two things you can get this temperature 22 Kelvin next one Starting from equation 1.71, that is the equation 1.71, calculate the Doppler bordering of hydrogen line having the wavelength, this, this is the wavelength and you know the temp, uh, velocity of the light will be 328 meter per second. So, uh, put this value and Kb given, temperature also given, mass of hydrogen also given. So, just putting this given value, we can easily find out this is the uh, B is the bordering, bordering, tobler bordering will be like that. That's nanometer. Okay. So I think clear. If there is any doubt, you must comment in the comment box. And this is all about me. This is my contact detail. You can connect with me in the Telegram channel. This is my you know, all-nile platform. And this is my YouTube channel details. Go to this channel. You will be get the different physics related video and some mathematics. Uh, like this session. If you learn something from this session, share this video to your friends. So that he or she also get benefit from this video. Subscribe this channel if you new in this channel. Those already subscribed. Thanks for subscription. Press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video. So take care. We will meet in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.